Hello everyone, I am back and I want to show you the results of the experiment. So if you remember, I had this piece that set out in the sun and it became soft and rubbery and I uh, wasn't sure what to do because if the whole car becomes soft and rubbery then that's going to be an issue. This part was made, I'm going to guess, three months ago. So put it out in the sun just like it is today. I don't know, 80 degrees in the sun. It gets a little bit hotter than that. And again, it turned to rubber. So then what I did was I took the part and put it in the oven at home at 150 degrees. That was pretty much the lowest I could get it set at. And then baked it for 12 hours. Now it's back, I had to wait for another 80 some degree day. It is today, I set it out in the sun on the ground over there on the concrete so it would get hotter than 80 degrees. Don't know what the exact temperature is. But anyway, point being that now it's stiff. Whereas previously at this temperature, the thing was flexible. Like I said, it was a It's also very windy today, you can see. But anyway, the result is that it doesn't matter what the time is between when it is made and when it is heat treated. I'll call it heat treated. I don't know, post process, post heat process. Uh, the fact that it was three months doesn't matter. It still worked to post heat process it. And so now it's stiff up to a higher temperature. My guess would be 150 degrees since that's what it was exposed to. Don't know for sure, but I do know that it's significantly stronger, uh, 85 degrees or 90 or whatever the surface temperature is of that. The other thing is I did some research and found out that uh, the T sub G for these materials is very dependent on the uh, physical configuration. It's a, when they make the test, it's a thick block, relatively thick block that they use. They put a weight and see how much it deflects. Well, they said that if it is thinner or of a different construction, then the T sub G is different. So in this case, this is only two layers. And so that's the bare minimum of thickness that I would consider any carbon fiber part to be strong enough to use to stand up on its own. So we also had some parts that are three uh, layers of carbon fiber and they did not suffer from distorting uh, sitting out in the sun. So it's not only the temperature, it's not only the post-processing, it's also the thickness of the material that significantly impacts what temperature the parts start deflecting at. So anyway, that's the conclusion of my test. Uh, hope it, you learned something from like, subscribe, hit the alert, hit the thanks if you want to donate, and if you don't like what we're doing, get on our channel. Bye.